Hi everyone, today I have a sample application, this console.net core C sharp application. I want to show you the easiest way to publish this .NET Core application on an Ubuntu Linux VPS server without installing anything on the server. The easiest way you will ever see right now. Let's start. Step number one in the application, in the solution, we are going to publish it for Linux. So right click on the application, go here, publish, and simply click here on folder next folder next and finish before you click on publish go here to show all settings and simply click here on self-contained and if you want you can produce a single file application so you have only one file to upload to your server i will keep it now as a multiple files and make sure to set the runtime to linux x64 click on save and publish now if you go to the path you will see we have all these files and this is the sample app file this is the application file that we are going to run on our ubuntu server so step number two is to get a server i will open the browser and go to valter.com why valter can you use something else of course you can use contabo you can use Linux, google cloud amazon web services microsoft azure whatever you want but here in this video i'm sharing with you valter simply because in the description below you will have a code where you can get 100 dollars free credits for 14 days inside valter to test everything for free so you can follow up right now for free to test this and learn it anyway click on plus and deploy a cloud compute server select any region you want and go here select ubuntu i will go with ubuntu 20 anything and go down select whatever size you want and then i will click on deploy and wait for a couple of seconds to get this server while it's installing go and search for putty ssh client or putty download and go here and download putty a free ssh client and download win scp which is also a file manager that allows you to connect your server easily and manage the files with ssh it's also free download it and you will be ready to follow up now our server is ready you can see it here i will open putty and get the ip address of, of the server copy it paste here open now if you see this error connection refused it means the server is still installing and running just wait a couple of minutes and everything will be fine let's try again say accept and let's log in root and the password just copy this password and go here and press the right click on your mouse right click it will be there somewhere for security reasons it will not appear enter and here we are inside our server now i will open win scp the second application and log in paste the password root copy the ip paste here log in yes let's go to any directory like var create a new folder here i will call it netcore okay and inside this folder we are going to upload our published files so go back here to this folder here copy or select all and drag and drop here that's it we are uploading our published application to our server with win scp super simple till now let's wait and awesome the files are on the server now go to putty and simply change directory cd to var net core our folder and now if you're on this command ls to list the files and folders you will see we have the sample app executable file so run this command chmode plus x and pass the file name so i will go here copy this right click and you will see it's down here enter and now to run the application simply say dot slash sample app enter and here we are i'm running on a vps linux server thank you this is our console application if you remember here we are the program this is the application it ran and this is the output on the linux ubuntu server of course you can schedule and automate this service by running a cron job if you want you can go here to etc directory and go down to cron tab and add a cron job that fires this console application like every day every couple of minutes whatever you want and it will run automatically on your server now i believe you need to learn how to build some interesting projects in .NET core console applications to test this with a real application and for this you need to check this playlist where i shared a lot of applications with source codes for free for you go click watch get and host and test and learn for free have any questions i'll be waiting for you in the comments section below see you later